Hello and welcome to this online class once again as we are discussing about the continent of Antarctica. Yesterday we discussed or in the previous video discussed about the brief introduction of the continent of Antarctica. We discussed about how Antarctica was discovered or discovery of Antarctica. In this video we shall discuss about Antarctica as a continent. Two things we shall discuss. The first thing is about location and extent and boundaries. When you talk about location and extent of Antarctica, you can see that Antarctica is world's southernmost continent containing the geographic South Pole. So it is located entirely around South Pole. It is the world's southernmost continent. It is situated in the Antarctica region of southern hemisphere. So as South Pole is in southern hemisphere, so obviously Antarctica also will be in southern hemisphere. It is entirely south of the Antarctic Circle surrounded by southern ocean. Its population is about 4000 490 according to 2011 census. So the population of here mainly the scientists who work in research center are residing there and when you talk about area this is approximately 140 lakhs square kilometer. It is covered by permafrost that is permanently frozen ground. Permafrost means the area completely covered with uh, ice, ice sheet. Okay. In terms of the area or when you talk about the sequence of all the continents, it is the fifth largest continent in the world after Asia, Africa, North America and South America. So it is the fifth largest continent after Asia, Africa, North America and South America. About 19 percentage of Antarctica is covered by ice and the average thickness of the ice is 1.6 kilometer. So entirely Antarctica or the continent of Antarctica is covered with ice. Why? The area is covered with ice because it is nearby the South Pole. The sunlight is very less, is rarely able to reach the South Pole. So entirely due to the low temperature, the area is covered with ice. Antarctica on an average is the coldest, driest and windiest continent and has the highest elevation of about 2000 meters above the sea level. So the area is dry and very cold and wind is very common in that area. Then the height of the continent is 2000 meters from the main sea level. So entirely Antarctica is considered as a desert with annual rainfall of 200 millimeter that is 8 inches along the coastal areas only. The coastal areas only will be having uh, rainfall or precipitation, uh, precipitation that is. So the temperature in Antarctica has reached up to minus 89 degrees Celsius. So it is minus 89 degrees Celsius too cold. There are, uh, there are no permanent human residents. Okay, as it is that there are no permanent human residents or the people who live there, mainly the scientists, the uh, people who work uh, in research center are not permanent resident of that area, they are temporary resident. So uh, around 1000 to 5000 people reside throughout the year at research stations scattered across the continent. It is uh, occupied mainly by different countries and they are scattered and around 1000 to 5000 
people reside there throughout the year. The Antarctica stores 90% of the world's total ice and 70% of its fresh water. So, when you talk about the uh, ice, it stores 90% of the world's total ice and 70% of its fresh water in solid state. Water is found in three forms liquid forms, solid forms, and gaseous forms. So, in the solid forms, as a fresh water, it is there. That is around 70 percentage as is consisting, consisting in uh, Antarctica. So, now let us see and discuss about the boundaries. Antarctica is surrounded by various seas of the three oceans of the world. So, it is surrounded by three oceans of the world, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean and Indian Oceans. So, the ocean's name you should remember that is surrounded uh, by three oceans of the world Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean and Indian Ocean. The Weddell and Rose Seas deeply penetrate the continent from opposite directions. So, they are the seas near the seas Weddell and Rose Seas they penetrate the continent from opposite directions dividing it into eastern Antarctica. The larger and more compact path and the western Antarctica formed by the Arctic Peninsula and outlying islands of the Pacific Ocean. So, these are the few uh, terms that you need to remember about the sea's name uh, Antarctic Peninsula. Peninsula as you know the landforms which is covered uh, or surrounded by the water three sides are known as peninsula. All right. So, there are two seas that you should remember that is Weddell Sea and Rose Seas and uh, it is surrounded with uh, oceans three sides Pacific Oceans then again Antarctic Ocean and Indian Ocean. So, uh, up to here uh, let us discuss today and in the next video we shall discuss about physical features of Antarctica and about the climate of Antarctica. I hope you understood the uh, chapter and the content that we discussed. We discussed mainly about the location, extent and the boundaries. In terms of locations it is southernmost continent of the world and it is surrounded by the three seas as the boundary of the Antarctic and it is beyond the Arctic circle it is beyond the Arctic circle and covered with permafrost permanently it is frozen ground all right so thank you so much for watching this video so patiently have a nice day god bless you